We were founded in 2013 by a woman named Dr. Carol Whalen Connor. She would see grocery stores dumping so much of what looked like beautiful, fresh food. And then, of course, simultaneously, she would see the, the very deep need in the unhoused people that she would pass and befriend. So she and a small group of friends started going to the grocery stores and talking with people about what was happening with the food. And sure enough, they were desperate for a solution because they recognized that that all of this healthy food going to landfill means that nobody gets to eat it. And of course, the environmental impact of all of that food that went to landfill creates a tremendous amount of greenhouse gas one of the important aspects of White Pony Express is that we, it's not a charity. There's not somebody who gives and someone who receives. We consider it a circle of giving and the sense that we really are all one family. And for that reason, we would never give out food or clothing or children's books and toys that weren't the best quality. Now we're serving 80 nonprofit organizations. We've rescued 18 million pounds of food, which is 15 million meals. And we're rescuing about 12,000 pounds of food each day. In addition to food, we also have a large general store. And we're doing a similar thing with clothing and other essential items. And that is going to clothing manufacturers, distributors, boutique stores, and letting them know that their surplus, their dead stock, their out of season, their returns, that we can get those items to the people who need them most. Our tagline is all of us taking care of all of us. And also with the sort of agile organization that was that was created by Dr. Connor, we are in a position to be responsive to me. And when it's just a matter of connecting abundance and what we have here, which is a tremendous amount of food and high quality clothing and essential items and sleeping bags and hygiene kits, when it's just a matter of getting those items to people that need it, that's what we do. There was a neighbor who had opened up his garage and he was collecting food and clothing for the Ukrainian refugees. And so, true to what I hope will always be our form, we said, yes, we have those things. And so we started bringing boxes to the gentleman's garage. And so we got names from that gentleman said, oh, well, there's a group here called Nova Ukraine. There's a business in San Jose and they have a warehouse in Lviv. So we connected with all of those people and grew the network really in that way. We got to know partners who would be able to ship our goods. We started delivering pallets of medical supplies, hygiene kits, warm clothing, but also diapers and wipes, feminine products, all of the things that they let us know they need. We put a page on our website, a link to an Amazon wish list. We let people know what we were driving for and what the people on the ground in Ukraine really needed. And those goods came in. We packed them up. And a part of what we're doing is really making sure that the way that we pack the goods, the way the goods are organized and labeled will honor the people who receive them in Ukraine and they'll feel the love and respect that we have for them going through this ordeal. I met a group in LA called Operation USA. They do international relief. They've said to me every time we've talked, we are so grateful for what White Pony Express is doing. You have no idea. And I'm going, no, I really don't have any idea. Like why? But they said that in the West, there aren't very many nonprofit organizations that are agile in this way. And, you know, the amount that we've been able to do is a little bit surprising even to me, but it's just that the community has leaned in and people are feeling like you don't just want to sit and watch TV. You want to be a part of something that helps this situation.